The internet is erupting over stocks. For decades, people have been trying to game the stock market with great success and great failure. Over the past week, a subreddit called Wall Street Bets has turned the market on its head. Billionaires are losing everything while normal people are making millions. George, how much money did you make in the market? Uh, ooh. ooh. GameStop couldn't really provide for us. Right. We're riding Blackberry right now. Got it. No one knows what's happening. But from time to time, there's these moments where it feels like you could go from zero to millionaire overnight. So, I mean, we decided to test it. A real stockbroker, a six-year-old, and a literal monkey will each be given $1,000 and whoever makes the most money after 48 hours keeps it. Yeah, it's all up to them. It could be negative $100, it could be literally $100,000. I guess you're gonna have to stay till the end to find out. Day one. All right, it's raining in LA. First for everything, I guess. We gave everybody the option of when they wanted to start. The monkey decided to sleep in. The stock trader says that we have to start right now. It's six o'clock in the morning. So you're a day trader? Yes. So what makes you qualified to do this job? I learned from YouTube, 80% of my trades are winning and I'm up 100 grand this week trading stocks. Oh so. my God. That was good, good job. I've like frequented Wall Street bets for the past couple of years. Did you see that one guy that made like- $40 million? Yeah. yeah, 50 grand to $40 million on GME. You're going up against one, a six year old, and the other one is a literal monkey. Are you in any way intimidated by your competition? Uh, yeah. There's something to be said about someone that literally has no clue what they're doing. So, do you have a strategy going into today? You gotta go where the volume is. That's why people are making six figures this week. All right, $1,000. All right, the stock market opens in three, two, one. I'm trading Blackberry. It's down 7%. I'm gonna buy it, ride it back up. Crap, this is not good. Everything is tanking. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to financially recover from this. All right, bud, we'll be back. Don't lose any more money, okay? I'm gonna try. <laughs> All right, so we're at the monkey's house. Apparently green grapes are his favorite food, so I got some, and we're gonna be using these to bribe him to pick stocks. Hey, how's it going? Coco, are you ready to make a bunch of money on the stock market? He's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the hardest part about having a pet monkey? He pooped on my carpet okay. and then like picked it up and like smeared it on the door because I wasn't letting him out of my room. He's disgusting. <laughs> Do you think that he is smart enough to beat the stock market? <laughs> yeah. Sure. We've got different stock options. We've got anything as risky as GameStop all the way up to the S&P 500. And Coco is going to be choosing which stocks to invest in. <laughs> oh, GME, he picked GameStop. That is either going to make or break him today. All right, well, we'll let him make maybe a, a final pick if he wants to. Maybe he doesn't. No, he's, he's done. over it. He's like, all right. no more. Lucky for Coco, GameStop immediately started to surge. And in the meantime, we had to go meet our six-year-old. His name is Lucas, and I've heard that he loves candy. So... Whichever one he picks, he gets. <laughs> Lucas, great to meet you, buddy. Do you know what the stock market is? Okay, I'm giving you $1,000 and you get to choose how to spend it. It's all up to you. <laughs> He's overjoyed. GameStop. He's got Snapchat. AMC. <laughs> Good choice. Amazon. Tesla. Lucas had created quite the diverse portfolio. In the meantime, we had to go check with our day trader. Well, it looks like we're starting to roll over, like off the bat. I have literally no idea what you're talking about, but I trust you. I got sort of an offbeat question for you, okay? All right. What are the chances of death? Uh, I mean, anybody that's ever day traded has died, I guess, so 100%. Ooh! $445. That's, that's half your money. If the stock just erupted to the downside and went to like $12 or something, I'd be fucked. <laughs> well. Yeah. Good luck, right? Good luck to you. <laughs> Literally, this monkey, he's just been sending me self monkey selfies. Uh, little does he know, GameStop is on a hot streak today. I think he's up like almost $200. I actually hear some commotion outside. Are you guys playing tag out here? Yeah, he's, he's fast. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he just got Regardless you. of Lucas doing anything, his stocks continue to rise. All right, the market closes in seven minutes. We're gonna check back in with Matt real quick. Matt. What's up? Hey, the market is closing right now. Are you done? We're up. Uh, we're up. We're up. We're up. We're Matt. Two hundred and forty-three dollars and fifty-eight cents. Oh so, my gosh! Twenty-five percent on the day. When y'all were last year, I took that BlackBerry trade, lost like fifteen mm, bucks on it. Uh huh. Whatever. Then I got into that penny stock trade, closed that out for like eight percent gain. Shorted the market. That was a fat like 60% gain and then rode that back. You just pulled $250 out of thin air. Thin air. How'd the monkey do? <laughs> 
While Matt took home the W on day one, we still had day two. Day two. Welcome to day two. To increase the stakes, we're having everyone pull out of their investments, move all their money into crypto. We also decided to double the winner's money, and the two losers are going to get absolutely, mercilessly pied in the face. It's uh, 9 a.m. right now, so Matt decided to sleep in. Personally, I feel like Matt's getting a little bit comfortable with his earnings. I hope he loses everything in crypto today. I'm opening the door. Matt, where did he go? He's literally, he's right, Matt! What are you doing? I guess I'm just confused, you know? How did you get in my room? Today's all cryptocurrency. We're doing Bitcoin, Dogecoin. Everybody in the hotel lobby is talking about Dogecoin. People now. are actually making millions of dollars on it right now. Millions of dollars on the meme. What if uh, I told you I hope that you lose everything today? You. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Coco. I would be honored if you would pick. <laughs> Bitcoin. There's no way he knows what Bitcoin is, but somehow he's making sound financial decisions right now. Lucas! Welcome to day two. You know what cryptocurrency is, Lucas? That's okay. Right here, you've got five different options for crypto. Litecoin, Bitcoin, Do Dogecoin. It's hot right now, a lot of hype behind Dogecoin. I'm gonna get some of this dog coin real quick. I think it's, uh, I think it's Dogecoin. It's down 16% on the day. People are getting wrecked right now. Okay, what so what am do? I gonna do? I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> oh, sounds like a bad idea. Buy the dip and let it rip. Um, thousand dollars. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a steal. I need this to go up. If, if this doesn't, I'm I'm screwed. I hope you lose all your money in the market. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Crypto day was an absolute dumpster fire. Uh, Bitcoin went up a little bit. Dogecoin lost everything and in the meantime lucas stole all of the rest of my candy and shoved the entire bag into his mouth coco did absolutely nothing i actually checked his TikTok. he was posting all day and matt left his hotel room to go drown his sorrows at the beach and after this ridiculous two-day process the winner was clear hey hello hey hey buddy <laughs> you did a good job you're a genius is he a genius uh, well, I have some good news and I have some bad news. What do you want first? Uh, bad news. Bad news is I talked to my financial advisor. He said it was a bad idea to hire Coco. The, uh, the good news is that, uh, this right here is $2,000 and it's yours. Coco just became a thousandaire. Coco, you're such a rich little monkey. <laughs> but for every winner, there has to be an opposed loser. Yo, what's up? Hey, hey buddy. How, how we doing, bud? <laughs> how we doing, buddy? I did not lose. You're, yeah, you lost. There's no... Yeah, you lost. You barely lost to a monkey and a six-year-old. <laughs> Matt, you absolutely killed it in the market. Your downfall was cryptocurrency. Dog coin? Yeah. <laughs> Dog yeah. coin? Yeah, I didn't treat you very well. Uh, the good news, I'm actually partnered with Lolly on this video, and we're going to be giving away you and all of our subscribers a Bitcoin. It's like $40,000. Well... This is not a drill. Lolly has agreed to give anywhere between one and a thousand dollars worth of free Bitcoin to all Airac subscribers until we give away an entire Bitcoin. I actually believe in this company so much that I gave them my money for this video. Lolly literally gives you free Bitcoin when you buy stuff online. It's like honey, but way fucking better. Lolly works on thousands of sites Nike, Best Buy, Postmates, GameStop. GameStop? GameStop! I actually went on GameStop to test it, bought some Pokemon cards, and sure enough, I got free Bitcoin. I have accumulated almost $250. Imagine one day Bitcoin explodes and everyone that uses Lolly is like a millionaire overnight. That could literally happen. The best part, it's free and it literally takes two clicks to get it on your browser. So that's like 30 seconds. Maybe less. How fast do you click? I click faster than anyone that's ever lived. I think I might click faster than you. <laughs> oh! 43 clicks in five seconds. Oh. Boom, baby. I can get Lolly in one second. It's super easy. You can use the link in my description to go download Lolly right now. Again, they're generous enough to give away an entire Bitcoin to our audience. I'm reading right here. They've already given away $2 million in free Bitcoin. What is your business model? I don't know, but I like it. You're saying goodbye to becoming a millionaire overnight if you don't download Lolly right now. Lovely. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Well, we answered the age-old question of man versus monkey versus six-year-old. Dogecoin to the moon, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm leaving. Failure's sweet at least.